Kia ora everybody, it's Bridget here from Nurture Earth. I just want to come on here today and say a big, huge um, what's up. <laughs> but no, just leave the weeds, okay? I just want to be a big rep for plants today and just say if there's something growing in your garden and you're not sure what it is, just leave it. <laughs> I know it's super hard. Uh, the reason I wanted to make this video was because I had a friend over here the other day and I was doing a little garden tour with her and um, I pointed out to her some chia which was growing in the garden which we um, actually, funny story, my um, toddler dropped a whole jar of chia seed in the kitchen and um, when I swept it up I just sprinkled it out by the driveway thinking it might grow and it has and it's flowering and it's beautiful. Um, and she says, what's that? And I said, it's chia. And she was like, wow, that's amazing. I would have never thought that. I would have just pulled it out. And I hear this all the time. And, and I was the same. And I think the thing is that what is it about the human condition that we have to, if we don't know what something is, we just pull it out? So many plants have been pulled out by accident, I bet, over the years. So, yeah, today I just wanted to inspire you about leaving the weeds, leaving the plants in your garden, uh, and there's multiple reasons for that. And the, the number one reason um, is that it provides ground cover. So if you don't have a plan for what you're going to plant in that spot where you're pulling something out, then just leave it because it's really good ground cover, um, particularly if it's your vegetable garden and you don't have anything growing in there and it's covered in weeds, those annoying weeds that are growing everywhere, but it's actually providing uh, cover for your soil. It's protecting your soil from the elements and those weeds or plants, whatever you want to call them, are also providing nutrients to the soil when they die and break down and their roots and there's all sorts of things happening under the soil that you just have no idea about. So. If you don't have a plan for that bare patch of soil, don't turn it into a bare patch of soil uh, until you have got plants to go in there. The next thing is that not all weeds are actually weeds. A lot of the traditional weeds are like dandelion and, you know, they actually are really high in nutrients. They're really good for us. They're really good for our health and our digestive system and they're also really good for the soil. So if you are not sure uh, what it is, you can go on to um, a Julia's Edible Weeds actually here in New Zealand. She's amazing. And there's so many weeds that we pull out all the time that you can actually eat. And that's not to say that you're going to be able to survive on them forever. Some of them don't taste amazing. But some of them do taste really good. And so um, I highly recommend um, doing that. And, and on another note, if you are not sure about what you're about to pull out, then there's heaps of really cool apps now. And there's a really good New Zealand group called Plant Identification New Zealand. So you just have to take a photo of the plant and put it up online and someone will tell you what it is. So yeah, just... Just halt, halt. If you see a plant you've got to pull out, just just hold hold the horse. Um, unless, of course, it is some kind of really noxious, poisonous plant that you totally know that that's what it is. So the other thing I wanted to say about pulling out weeds is that um, I think we have this idea about tidy gardens and tidy tidiness, tidy straight lines, tidy. And nature just doesn't work like that. Nature is um, chaotic and diverse. And uh, what we see is is maybe a whole lot of plants growing all together in a big mess. But actually, it's a full-on little micro ecosystem um, happening. So um, one of the hardest things for us um, kind of more control freakish type people is to just let go of the fact that we want to have these straight lines and we want to have this plant here and this plant there and and embrace a little bit more of the diversity that comes when you let things grow more. Um, along our driveway at the moment, we've only just moved in here a few months ago, I've just let the weeds come back, right? And the weeds that are coming up um, are like winter cress, and there's some clover coming up, and there's um, a lot of the kind of pioneering weeds um, that come up. Um, you notice um, there's certain weeds that come up first, and then they improve the soil, and then other weeds come up. So... Um, that's a really cool little experiment. Um, so yeah, na nature's just this intricate system um, that we have not very limited understanding of, but um, yeah, just halt, halt with the weed pulling. Um, another thing that I wanted to say is that quite often some of those plants are there more on like a spiritual level for you. Like it's really interesting. I hear people say, oh my gosh, you'll never guess what plant I just found in my backyard. And it's some kind of amazing herb that's going to help them with 
something that they need or it might be a plant that's here to teach us about something and like I know for me I really want to uh, grow more cut flowers and um, now there's like all these weeds coming up that are actually really good foliage plants for doing cut flower bouquets so uh, that's another thing to consider and yeah lastly just wanted to say and I already said it just before as well is before you touch anything and pull it out find out what it is first find out whether it is beneficial or useful and then you know if 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 you don't want it there and you, you found that it's actually a true pest of yours then pull it out but just just try and um stand back for a little while first so i hope that's been helpful for you let me know in the comments um what you think about that and if you have had any annoying weeds that you that turned out to be actually really amazing cool weeds and um, if this is going to be helpful to anyone that you know you can tag them in it or maybe just share it to them that'd be really awesome and before i go i just wanted to mention that um about one other weed that came up in my garden um that i had no idea what it was and it's turned out to be portal portal it's a native New Zealand um, sh short-lived shrub and where it's growing is an area that we actually need to put in some wind shelter, wind protection and from what I, I've initially heard that it was a little bit maybe toxic and so I thought oh we need to pull all these out because quite a few of them came up and actually it's now being used um, in regenerative um, plantations as the you know to help the pioneering plants come on so you know it really pays to look into it a little bit more i hope you've enjoyed this video sending you all my love and i'll talk to you again soon bye